This is a short introduction to the weekly topics of the Data Analytics and Learning MOOC. The course is split into nine individual weeks in clusters of two for the first eight. We'll start off by providing a quick introduction and starting to talk about the data cycle in the first few weeks. During this time as well, you'll have an opportunity to start working with Tableau and getting familiar with the process of working with data and doing basic visualizations. Following that, we'll spend two weeks looking at analytics around networks. And these can be any analytics that relate to social networks or network structures in general. The following two weeks, we'll look at regressors and classifiers as well as behavior detection. And then in early December, we'll take a turn to discourse and text analysis. And we'll wrap up by December 21st in the final week, doing a bit of a summary week and looking at open learning analytics. Now, an average week will consist then of you receiving the notification about course notes being released. And this will typically happen on Sunday evening in Eastern Standard Time. From there, you'll have opportunities to access the videos, readings, or any related presentations that form that week's content. You'll also have notification of the schedule for weekly hangouts with instructors. This will provide you with an opportunity to ask any questions or to respond to any uh, concerns that you've expressed or encountered throughout the course. So this is just an opportunity to have a fairly free-flowing interaction with the course instructors. You'll also have an opportunity to engage in the weekly content around what we're calling an assignment bank. An assignment bank is essentially a collection of resources or assignments that relate to the weekly content. With a large course like this where you can have tens of thousands of learners involved, it's obviously difficult to be able to provide personalized learning to each individual student. Eventually, we hope, with open online courses, some level adaptivity and personalization will be possible, but for now at least, we want to personalize the learning experience primarily through two approaches. One is through the use of social techniques and social practices, which we'll get into in a separate short video. And the second relates to the use of an assignment bank. An assignment bank is basically an opportunity for you to select the resources that you would like to look at and to test your own knowledge or grow your own knowledge by tackling those specific assignments. And each week we'll have a cluster of assignments that you can select and they'll be rated by difficulties. You also have opportunities to participate in various conversations throughout the week on social media, Twitter, Facebook, or your own blog or website, or through software called ProSolo, which is essentially a social competency software that'll allow you to interact with peers and also to communicate what you're learning and how you're learning it. Each week as well, there'll be time for group work. These will be live chat activities where you'll be placed in small groups and you'll be addressing particular questions or targeting a particular set of problems that have been presented by the instructor for that week. And finally, throughout the course, you'll have an opportunity to connect with others in the form of a social recommender system when you ask a question in a discussion forum. More information on that is going to be provided during our weekly discussions and you'll be notified on a regular basis how the group or the help support function works. Now one of the things that we've tried to do with this particular course is to address some of the weaknesses that exist in a largely lecture-based course format where the bulk of the learning happens by essentially listening to a faculty member talk about their area of expertise and present content. We're trying very much to still respect the value of expertise and expert instruction, but trying to move towards something that places greater responsibility on you as learners to own your own learning and to be involved in defining the conditions where you find you've been successful as a learner. And so we're calling this something like a dual layer MOOC, where on the one hand, we do have the content and the instructional elements made available to you, but we encourage you to engage in interaction in a variety of social spaces. This could be in ProSolo, it could be on your blog, it could be on Twitter, it could be in Facebook or any space you'd like, so that you have an opportunity to interact and engage with your peers more so than you might in a regular MOOC. And so we see an approach that looks something like this, where you receive a weekly notification that content is made available. There's interactions, content, videos, and activities that are held in edX. There's a series of help resources and group chat activities that you'll be involved with within the edX environment. 
and you also have opportunities to engage in more of a free-flowing, open type of interaction. And this will happen through your interaction on blogs or on Twitter or the use of the assignment or problem banks, as well as through the use of ProSolo.